All right, y'all. Yep, mommy. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel, Some Mom I Am. Hey. So today I'm setting up my little office space because um, I've been working from everywhere. I mean, my bed, the kids' room, um, the the den, the kitchen, everywhere. And I think working from the bed is making me a little tired, duh. Um, so I'm setting up me a little office area in this corner. And I forgot to show y'all what it looked like before, but just know it was a mess, okay? It was a mess. Um, basically, I just had a bunch of paintings. Um, I just had all these paintings over in that corner in my um, ladder to hang the paint. All right, so I found this table at the front of the neighborhood, somebody was giving it away. No, actually, I found this table at a $1 yard sale. I was driving and <laughs> I was driving and I seen a sign that said everything a dollar. Baby, when I tell you, I start and turn that car around so fast. I got a lot of things that day, uh, uh, several things that I, I have no intentions of probably ever using. I probably just end up selling and I had intended to sell this table now it's supposed to have a glass top it's supposed to have like some little rubber pieces here to hold the um, the glass on top but considering I have kids I, I don't even mind that the glass is not there because uh, they're wild so I'm trying to figure out if I want to leave the table this way or if I want to turn it towards the wall because I got the TV right there. So I'm trying to see. Uh, let me turn it around and see what I think. Okay, so now it's like this. Get off the floor, honey. So now I got the TV right there. Um. Let me get my chair and then see what it feels like. Okay, so I feel like I'm not feeling this. I feel like I want to turn it the other way because I'll have more room behind me if I want to roll back and I don't have to worry about rolling back on the kids as they come around that corner constantly. So let me turn it around. Excuse me, Pookie. It's amazing. And I honestly think it's meant to be right there because look at that. I mean, it fits perfectly right there. So, okay. Okay, so I can actually pull my seat up like that. And then I have room to roll back. Go in your okay, yeah, so I think I like it right here. That way I can, or um, if I wanna turn this way, I can turn and then I can see outside. So, yeah. Now let me get my laptops and such. All right, so I got two laptops. This one I think I'm gonna put over here. And I got this bowl out of my kitchen. And I think I want to put like my computer cord when I'm not charging it. The computer. I got my headphones. And let's see. Okay. 
So I really don't even work on both computers at the same time very often. So I'm probably just going to take this one and put it behind here like yeah. that. And I'm going to just... Set this actually. I think I'm gonna put this over here out the way. Put a little bow there. And now I am going to get my printer. Okay, I basically have had this over in the corner since I moved here. I just need to wipe it off. Okay, I had to get a rag, y'all, because y'all know that little napkin wasn't doing nothing for six months of dust. All right. Okay, so I had a call come in and then I had to go to Zoom meeting. But anyways, this, this ain't working. This ain't working. I just been sitting here for like five, ten minutes and it's it's not going to work. I don't like, I can't see anything. And um, so basically what's going on is the reflection from the window over there. The reflection from the window is reflected on my computer. So I noticed that immediately when I sat down. And so I'm going to clean, clear out this little area over here. Clear out this little corner um, that I just moved all the stuff from this corner into. <laughs> I'm about to clean out this corner. And um, I'm going to set up there in front of the window because I need to see. I like to see life going on. I like to see the cars, the people, uh, stuff like that. So, all right, I'm going to move it.
All right, y'all. <laughs> so I am over here because that corner, it was dark. Because I'm like, dang, I need a lamp and, and all this. But now, I'm right by the window. I can see outside. I can see all the cars and everybody coming in the gate for the community and such. And uh, yeah, okay. So I think this will work. I don't have to fight with the light hitting the screen. And then, so I think eventually I can use like this wall, hang my calendar or something, um, my little sticky notes for work, because I do have them pulled up on my computer, as you can see right there in the corner. I have my sticky notes pulled up on the computer, but uh, it'd be a lot of, you know, juggling back and forth. So I really think it'd be easier if I just put my sticky notes on the wall. That way I can just look at everything that I need instead of searching for it or whatever. So yeah, I'm going to eat breakfast because basically my job today has just been having some technical difficulties and um, I haven't been able to work because we got a new system today and Anytime I've ever got a new system from a work from home job, it, it's been it's been messed up. I mean, one job actually ended because they they got a new system and I mean, people's microphones wasn't working, they sound wasn't working. It was just a hot mess, and then they didn't want to address it. And then the one time they did address it, they they did it. Um, they uh, set aside an hour to address it, and what happened was nothing was fixed in that hour, and they didn't want to pay us for more time so they just was like whatever whoever's um station wasn't working it was just sayonara pretty much um yeah so i guess that's it <laughs> i just wanted to bring you all along while i set up my workstation so this is not just a you know do my work from home job station i do um have a lot of small businesses online i make digital products I sell journals and um, coloring books on Amazon. I have a clothing line, car wife apparel, car wife apparel. And my man has a t-shirt business, Ease Tees. His website is easeteesdesigns.com, uh, E-S-T-E-E-S designs.com. And, um, yeah, I do Rev. I do um, closed captioning um, for a website called Rev. I'm going to make a video about that on my other channel, Event with a Check. And so thanks, y'all. I'm on a roll this Blocktober. I've had my channel for a little over two years. I started it when my daughter was a couple months. And now she's almost three. She'll be three in a couple weeks from now. And every October, I'm like, oh, I want to do Blocktober, but I, I, I have never made it. But I made it this year. I have uploaded three videos. Today's October 4th. I guess this will be my fourth video. I'm about to edit it now. And I'm so excited. I'm really focused on YouTube, making YouTube my business and Handling, handling it like a business, taking more time to edit my videos, make them more entertaining, and uh, posting as much as I absolutely possibly can. Honestly, I really can post every day because, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like right now, I'm working from home, so I can make a video, you know, whenever I want. So I am excited. So thank you for coming on this journey with me. If this is your first video please subscribe to my channel especially if you're a parent and i'm excited finish the sentence bikes scooters roller skates and skateboards are all things with no. okay so handlebar, handlebars wheels wheels handlebar wings Handlebar wheels. Handlebars. Oh, yeah. I'm so proud of you, honey. No, Lily. Bubba's working, baby. Helmet. J 
jacket, helmet, helmet, jacket, light. Yeah, boy, you on a roll. Elbows and knees. Pads. Pants. Pads. <laughs> Pads. Yeah, you on a row. Here when you ride something with wheels, like a bicycle. You could get lost. You could get lost. You could fall down. You could catch. You could catch a cold. You could lose something. You could fall down. You could, you could, ca you could fall down. Yeah. With wheels. Skateboards. Yes. Skateboards. Skateboard. Helmets. Yes. Knee pads. No. Yes. Knee Scooters. 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 Helmet. Bikes. Wow. Ooh, you got some more ching ching. Got some more. Okay, you got some more coins. So, how many coins you got now? I see a seven, a five, and a two. So, it might be, I think it's 75 and two. 752. Uh -huh. Ooh, you almost got a thousand coins. I'm okay. You are on a roll. I'm so proud of you. Definitely. What do you want to do now? That's math. You want to do math? Uh, no, science. You want to do science again? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're working ahead. Uh, let's see. Mm. Yeah, because I like doing it. Let's see. No, I didn't mean to go there. That may be all they okay. Let's see. Safety gear. So I guess that's all they got for science right now. I have to load some more. How you load then? Uh let's see. Go through the parents portal, log in. No. This is your curriculum. We'll go to science. Okay, so we did the first one. We did good with that, so we'll uh, we'll add two more. So we got beginning science and elementary science. So then we'll go back to your login. Beginning science. All right. So now we go to science, and there's beginning science. So now we're gonna click on that. So now you wanna. They're gonna teach you what you're gonna be doing. So you're gonna click on that. And we're going to listen. Hello, my name is Kylie, and welcome to Fur, Feathers, Scales, or Skin. All living things have different types of things covering their bodies. Let's learn about the different kinds. Ready to go undercover to find out more? Let's get started.
Maybe it's in focus. Here is an antelope. They have hair covering the skin on their bodies, but their hair is not very soft. If you were to rub it, it would feel rough and not cuddly at all. This rough hair helps the antelope keep dry and cool in the summer, like a sunshade, and warm in the winter, like a warm coat. They don't have to change clothes like us. My work is ugly. Let's see. Hmm. What has you better? Let focus. Did you say birds? Yeah. Right. Good job. Yeah, birds. birds have covering feathers all over them. Yeah. Their feathers grow out of their skin and, and are made keep, out of the same stuff as fingernails. They keep them warm as the feathers do a lot of different things. Good job. Most birds, like this blue jay, use their feathers to fly. I bet you know the name of this bird that uses its feathers to swim and not fly. Good job. Yes, you're right. It's a penguin. Penguins also use their feathers to stay warm and dry, too. Ducks use their feathers to fly and to help them stay afloat on top of the water. Lizards, snakes, and fish have very different coverings than humans, rabbits, and other animals. They have scales. Scales. Yeah. Scales are also made up of the same thing our fingernails are made up of. Skeleton. Snake scales. Whoa, are not good slimy. job. They're smooth and can be made of very beautiful okay. colors. Can I have one too? Mm -hmm. Snake skin has good. scales to help okay. protect the snake mm -hmm. if it were to get attacked or mm -hmm. rub up against something rough. Okay. Now Their you gotta be quiet like and respectful. On a okay. Metal. Lizards also use their skin in this way. Yeah. As lizards and snakes grow, yeah. they must shed their skin and grow new skin. Yeah, because their scales tight. cannot grow bigger, and that is why they must grow new ones. Hey, Daddy. Fish also have hey, scales. Nope. They do not shed their skin like snakes and lizards. Mm -hmm. Their scales grow as they get bigger. Look at this fish called a tarpon. That's tarpon, huh? And older tarpon scales can be as big as your hand. What the? Insects do not have skin, feathers, fur, or scales as a covering. They wear their skeletons on the outside. Wow. I didn't know that. Their covering I is called an exoskeleton. Yeah. Exo means oh, outside. you did know exoskeleton. And so the goes. next time you see a cricket uh -huh. like this yep. one, and you are seeing her skeleton. Okay, I didn't know that. Insects use their exoskeleton to stay safe. They shed or molt this outer skeleton like snakes because it doesn't grow bigger That's than the insect. That's Learning best. about the different types of yeah. animal covering sure is mm -hmm. What kinds of living things are near you? Uh, Do you know what type of coverings they have? I just Fur, some, feathers, scales, I just or skin. I got some more. Cool. Got some more coins. Heard that ching ching sound. Yeah. I can't wait to see how many you got now. Good job. All right. So let's see how many coins you got. Press close. How many coins you got now? Uh, eight hundred. Good job. Eight hundred and sixty-seven. Woo woo. Good job. So now we're gonna go back and. So don't press um learning path. You wanna press close so you can go back to the last screen and not this screen. So we were in beginning science. Nope, we were in beginning science too. We already did beginning science I did one. Beginning science so beginning. now we are gonna go practice what we just learned. When we get goosebumps, our skin becomes a little bumpy, smooth, wet, dry. I know bumpy. Yeah. Choose one word that describes our skin. Cream, smooth, slimy, scaly. It's right here, smooth. <laughs> what 
What helps us to stay cool in the summer and warm in the winter? Our eyelashes, our fingernails, our skin, our freckles. Yeah, baby. We can get goosebumps when we get excited. All of these. We get chilly. We get scared. All of them. When you get excited, when what you get chilly, and when you get our scared. Bodies, feathers, tricky. fur, sweaters, skin. Yay! Why do humans have skin? To look pretty. To protect our bodies. To help us fly. To help us swim. Choose one word that describes our skin. You need to be still listening, see? You didn't hear the question. Scaly. So you need to go back to the microphone oh. speaker and they'll say it again. Nope, that's not what that's for. Okay, how do we get them to say it again? There you go. You gotta press it again. Choose one okay. word that describes our skin. Green, slimy, smooth, scaly. Oh, oh. That's okay. What helps us to stay cool in the summer and warm in the winter? Our eyelashes, our skin, our fingernails, our freckles. Mommy. Yeah. When we get goosebumps, our skin becomes a little bumpy, smooth, wet, dry. Oh, yeah. Oh, I heard that ching ching. Uh, listen, listen. So it says, congrats, you reached level two. You earned 50 gold coins. So when you get to this here, you want to go to close, not return to learning path. So go to close. Okay. So you want to go to the next level here or you want to do another subject? Next level. Right. You're a champ who deserves a bronze medal. We. Right. Ooh, how much? Ooh, how much you got now? Uh. Uh. So what's after the hundreds? Uh, your, oh, your favorite amount. Uh, thousands. Thousands. All right. So how much you got? One hundred. Nope. You just said it. When you got that comma, that means thousand. So you got one. One thousand and ten and uh ten. And seven. One thousand and zero. So that means no hundreds. So no hundreds. And what's that last two numbers? What do they make? Uh, what's it, one and seven? Uh, Seventeen. Oh, sh let me try again. Okay. Hmm. A uh, uh, hundred and zero. Nope. One thousand. One thousand and zero and seventeen. Okay, so you don't have to say the zero, okay? Okay. So it's just one thousand seventeen. Uh, one thousand seventeen. Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right. Now I'm ready for sign language. Sign language. Okay, okay, okay. So first, we're gonna learn. Hey everyone, my name is Taylor. And today's lesson is all about American Sign Language, or ASL. In this video, we're going to talk about the purpose of American Sign Language, who uses it to communicate, all right, so and why learning ASL I'm going to get off here now, and I think Bubba's doing good. He just started his, his first day, and so I helped him learn the um, system a little bit. So now I'm going to let him do it on his own. And get Lily a snack so she can leave him alone. And yay, so thanks for tuning in. We got our little office set up, but I think it's gonna be more so ideas than mine, which is fine. Um, because what I learned today when I got ready to sit at my desk is I don't know. That's kind of like why I'm working from home because I like to be comfortable, I like to be laid back. So I still just sit on the bed and use my little serving tray as my desk and move around to the den and sit over there lay in the bed work from there so yeah but it's actually perfect because Aya loves it and it works out perfect for him and his learning so 
Thanks for tuning in to day five of my uh, Blocktober. I am so proud of myself and I am so proud of all you out there that are watching that has channels that are staying on your Blocktober this 2023. So if you are enjoying this channel, please subscribe for more of Life with the Ease, Some Mom I Am. And if you are just tuning into my channel, I call it Some Mom I Am because baby, I am not even trying to be the perfect mom, okay? Because the perfect mom doesn't even exist, okay? I'm doing the best I can. I cuss, you know, uh, my kids cuss sometimes, uh, you know, and we're just real, you know? So it's like, <laughs> you know, it's like at the end of the day sometimes, I'm kind of like thinking on the things that happen throughout the day and it's like, who is some kind of mom I am, you know? Some mom I am that... I let my kids eat junk food all day or some mom I am that my kid cussed and I just cracked up laughing. So, yeah, around here we keep it real. And, um, yeah, see y'all.